Is it time to buy or sell Palantir stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Palantir. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, September 7, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since September 7, 2023, our system has ranked Palantir as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 1.57. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. We'll continue monitoring this evaluation to see how it unfolds in the coming days. The stock is at the lower part of a very wide and horizontal trend in the short term, and normally this may pose a good buying opportunity, though a breakdown through the bottom trend line at $14.12 will give a strong sell signal and a trend shift may be expected. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 0.542% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 7.64% and 30.42%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 96.79% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 41.46% and 172.58%. This translates to a price range of $21.52 to $41.46 after a year. Our latest daily update for Palantir includes the headline, Palantir stock downgraded from hold slash accumulate to sell candidate after Thursday trading session. The Palantir stock price fell by minus 0.588% on the last day, Thursday, September 7, 2023, from $15.30 to $15.21. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 6.65% from a day low at $14.29 to a day high of $15.24. The price has risen in 7 of the last 10 days but is still down by minus 0.59% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day by 11 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 49 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $750.64 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $20.24, and the lowest price was $5.84. Currently, the price is 24.85%, or $5.03, below the 52-week high, and 66.2%, or $29.79, below the all-time high on January 27, 2021, when the price reached $45. Analyst Ratings On Thursday, August 31, 2023, it was reported that Morgan Stanley gave PLTR a underweight grade with a downgrade action. On Tuesday, August 8, 2023, it was reported that Wedbush gave PLTR a outperform grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, August 8, 2023, it was reported that Goldman Sachs gave PLTR a neutral grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, August 8, 2023, it was reported that Raymond James gave PLTR a outperform grade with a hold action. On Monday, July 17, 2023, it was reported that Raymond James gave PLTR a buy grade with a downgrade action. Analysts have given Palantir stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Palantir. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, August 24, 2023, and so far it has risen 7.57%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, 
and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Palantir stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $15.37 and $16.12. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 10 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 93 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 22 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 19 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 86 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 146 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Palantir Palantir finds support from accumulated volume at $15.19 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved 95 cents between high and low, or 6.65%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 5.1%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Palantir, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on NOV 06, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $0.0600. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Palantir. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Palantir is at $15.41. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Palantir encounters its first support level at $15.19. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Palantir from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On September 1, 2023, Moore Alexander D. conducted an insider sell of 21,900 shares of Class A common stock. On August 29, 2023, Planishek Heather A. conducted an insider sell of 26,426 shares of Class A common stock. On August 29, 2023, Planishek Heather A. conducted an insider sell of 800 shares of Class A common stock. On August 24, 2023, Taylor Ryan D. conducted an insider sell of 27,049 shares of Class A common stock. On August 24, 2023, Taylor Ryan D. conducted an insider sell of 3,000 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 18.293. Overall, Insiders purchased 13,387,086 shares and sold 19,424,341 shares in the last 100 trades.
We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Palantir stock a good buy? Palantir holds several negative signals and is within a very wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a hold slash accumulate to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Friday, September 8th, we expect Palantir to open down $0.297 and start trading at $14.91. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.